subscribe. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. You know, it's interesting. I heard you talking a little while back, and you were talking about the semiconductors, and then you mentioned Texas Instruments. Yes. So I quickly grabbed Texas Instruments because I, as I've said to you over the last two, three weeks, as we're talking about my webinar, my live webinar, we did the first one Wednesday a week ago, the, next, the final one coming up this coming Wednesday uh, live. And I thought, you know, I, everything I've discussed with you isn't looking back and saying, look how perfect that was. It's look at, look at where we are right now. And then I told you what I was anticipating. You remember it was, what, Friday a week ago. I said, we're waiting for that in the next uh, 20, 28 minutes. There should be a leg D in the 120-minute chart of, of the, uh, uh, the S&P. And then we should pull back. And we got that. So here I am. I grabbed this chart. And if... I was just looking at the charts. It had no none of this, the technicals. I'm just going to move them away for now. It didn't even have this D. I had done this, and I had this as a peak C, and I hadn't looked at it for about a week. So I grabbed it, and I'm looking, and I said, oh, my God, look at this. This is exactly what we practiced in, in my live webinar course just uh, last Wednesday, the, you know, a week from yesterday, and it's to teach how you can see a rising trend line put in a little mini channel, I call it the Chapman Wave inside track. If it's on the way up, it's a, a repellent zone. If it's on the way down, it's a propellant zone. And look what happened. From that peak A that was made in uh, Texas Instruments on the daily chart on the 1st of uh, June, it went to 160, what was that? It went to 162, one, one, sorry, 192.03. Pulls back sharply and then it rallies and it goes slightly higher pulls back again and then goes slightly higher. Well, if you draw in the line, I don't know how these lines hit so exact. If you were there uh, yesterday and you're looking at say, this is fantastic. Look at this. We just, we've broken out. And then, no, if you see the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, that was a leg D. And remember the fourth highest peak, peak D, yes. where other things can happen. Look at the, look at uh, Texas Instruments uh, from, I think it was December or January of uh, 2020, yes, it's 135 peak D in the monthly, and it plunges down to, I would say that's quite a fall, to 93 in that peak D. So look at this. Yeah, you get a peak D. I get a down arrow because all the technicals are negative. And at the moment, it's underneath the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. That should be the, buys, the buy area okay. if it goes underneath. So this is... This is exactly this. I wanted to do this live. I also this morning during my show, I was I was showing um, the one minute chart because we have now we have a number of people that are trying to practice the technique. And of course, if you can do it, the, it's a fractal. So it doesn't matter if you're on a one minute chart or you can see in a monthly chart, they do exactly the same things. So I, I, I discussed what we had mentioned last time was the dreaded H with an Eiffel Tower, where sometimes at 9.30 in the morning, you get a sudden spike in the market, and then it gives it back. Well, that was that straight up movement straight down. I call that an uppercase A. It looks like an Eiffel Tower. It goes straight up and straight down. Then it turns around. And while I was doing my show, I said, uh, I, some other technique is where we get parallel highs, and I call them peak C1, C2, C3. And it looks like it just needed a fraction to go to that D, but it missed it. But this takes the place of the D. And I said, be careful, because we're pulling back, and we pull back. And then we ran up, and I said, oh, remember, we can always go to D. D is what you look for. And look at this. There's that peak D. This is live. We did it uh, during my show. This is 1042 this morning, 4358.50 in the E-mini one-minute chart. And look how long it took to come down. It came down all the way from the, what, what, 4358 area to 4346. So I wanted to just, you know, while we're talking about it, we've got uh, the webinar coming up. A uh, two-hour session live coming this Wednesday, going through all the different techniques, showing what people have been asking me, what can I show this, can I show that? So I've built up a little repertoire of what we're going to be looking at to practice live during during the uh, show. And what what will happen is that they get on their page, they get the whole webinar. So people have been going through the webinar slowly, and they can repeat as much as they want. It's there to go through as many times as you want. So um, I just thought I'd do this live because... <laughs> That's what we're all about. Oh, I thought I'd show you this as well. So we've got, what, about uh, 25 or so minutes to go to the end of the day. And here we are in the 10-minute chart. 
and I, I teach them how to do the left side, right side price time match. And that peaked in the 10 minute chart uh, back at seven o'clock, uh, what was that? that? That was last night. Hit the 200 period moving average, started a big rally. The, the technicals crossed positive. And then I also teach them how to use a phantom peak. And this little A that you see in red, I call that a phantom peak because one of the technical indicators gave a little hiccup there, but it wasn't shown in the price. So I use that so I can get to this top. In If I was waiting for a, for a D, I'd be at C now, and I'd be waiting. Here it's dropped already from uh, the 1360 area down to 1355. But I was ready for that because I had the phantom peak. I showed the technique. I showed what you use. And look at this. And now you've got your D. So these, this is live. This is what we're doing right yes. now. And that's what I'll be doing. So it's not like I'm saying, oh, look at this. And we can go back. We say, wasn't that perfect? 2020, you're always perfect. But when you do it live, you have to have all these techniques. And it really helps to have a, I call it a little live, my Sears and Roebuck toolbox, toolbox of technical indicators. That's what we'll be going through. And we went through, actually went through all of them on that all day session. And now we've been practicing them. And I try to do some of it live during the day uh, when I do my show so that we can actually put things together in real time. I think that's the way you can see it best. You got to love it, man. <laughs> and, you know, uh, this is the ever ready bunny, man. <laughs> Bottom line, it, it, these tech stocks just don't stop, man. I well, mean, pretty amazing. When you, it's, get, it's becoming a lot more selective. And you know what's interesting is, you know, I also look at round numbers. So Apple made a round number high, uh, one, two, three, four, about six or seven sessions ago. And it's not quite participating in this rally. That 150 all time, how do you get a round number? 150.00 all time high. Well, those are the techniques we'll discuss. You're gonna love it. Folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're gonna go into newsletters to see the opening call on the left hand side. Just hit that button. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom Houston. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow up 22, NASDAQ up 46, SP's up six and a half.